the Blue Peter team are heading on to your telly in just half an hour, so you've not got long to wait. And if you can't wait until then to check in with the team, you can hang out with them all the time online. Just go along to bbc.co.uk slash cbbc. That'll take you to the home page and then just click on Blue Peter. But now you can head to the dumping ground with our Tracy. Yeah, stuck again. But can't we get a new one? If we get a DVD, Ben can lend us a million movies. Well, perhaps next year's budget. <sighs> that is so not fair. Dumping Ground kids at last get everything. Well, when I was a kid, we made our own entertainment. You can't make a DVD player with two baked bean tins and a bit of string juke. We can make money and buy one. I don't need my car washing. Oh, not chores, a sale. We could sell things that we don't want and buy a DVD player. I don't have anything I don't want. Me neither. Well, I'm going to bring heaps and heaps of stuff, which means you won't be able to watch movies on my new DVD player. Is that what you brought? Well, I see what you brought. Oh. I need this. Well, at least Tracy's bringing heaps. My kitchen. You don't even know what this is for. Yes, I do. It's um, it's one of those um. Well, it chops. See? Okay, you can have that, but that's it. Talk about me. What about you? Oh, you wouldn't get much from me. Ha ha! Not. I bet you've got plenty of junk stored all over the place. Now's the time for a good clear out, right? Right. Hey, I made that myself. Remember when the pottery lady came last summer? Next. No! Let it die, it's suffering. We only need to blow it up. The rubbish tip's cheaper than dynamite. I taught you everything you know with this ball. Yeah. It was good, wasn't I? Magic feet and magic toes. I kick a ball and in it goes. And in it goes. And in it goes. Right, Ryan, pair to Tracy. To Tracy. Go on. Good one. Play back to Tracy. Go on. Go on, give it a lash. Who is responsible for this? <laughs> Me. Sorry. I kicked it too hard. Anyone squeals, they get rat poo in their cereal. Lots of good memories, eh? Say goodbye to Mike. Goodbye, Mike. Thank you for all the lovely memories. Gotta go now. Next. All right, keep your frizz on. Still not very much. Go and tell Tracy to hurry up with her stuff. I bet she hasn't got anything. She won't be watching our DVD. At this rate, neither will we. Oh, we've got all day. Let's stock up some lunch, B, before we get started. I'll watch the stuff if you bring me a sandwich. All right. Well, hey, <laughs> I've had this since I was at college. Imagine, and you still don't know what oats are. Hey. Not nice, eh? Do you know, we always meant to take you kids on a camping trip so we could sing for you around the campfire. <laughs> You'd have loved that. <laughs> sure. You bring the guitar, I'll bring the marshmallows. <laughs> High on a hill was a lonely goat herd. Lay, oh, lay, oh, lay, hee, hoo. That was the voice of the lonely goat herd. Lay, oh, lay, oh, loo. Goats in a town that was quite remote herd. Lay, oh, loo. Mm. Shall 
Shall I give you a quick tune? Quick, save yourself, and I'll head them off at the pass. Uh, 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 oh, no, you don't. Where I go, the guitar goes. It's true love. Mike, there's a call for you. My right, girls, stop it! Okay, settle down. Can we all gather round? Mike's got something he wants to talk to us about. Whatever it was, I didn't do it. Nobody's in trouble. I've been asked to be an emergency replacement at a bigger care home. Someone had to leave suddenly. They've asked Mike to step in. For how long? It's permanent. When are you leaving? They're saying they need me for Monday. But this is your weekend off here! This is going to be Mike's last day here at Sterry House. Sorry it's so sudden, guys. Nobody knew until the last minute. We're all going to miss Mike, but this is a great opportunity for him. So let's all wish him lots of luck. Quite a bit for that. Sell it cheap, it's rubbish. Roll up, roll up, bargains galore! Oh, come on, everybody, we might make enough money to get a remote control. I don't care about the DVD anymore. I only wish Mike was staying. Me too. Then why don't we use the money we make to get him a going away present? What are we getting? I don't know. Something that will remind him of us forever. Oh, we won't forget any of you. Let's get him a present anyway. Let's get him the best present ever. With that, we'll be lucky if we make enough to get a card. Then we're going to have to sell decent stuff. Stuff that people want. <laughs> you mean the stuff that we want to keep? We've got to get going. I can't decide. Come on! You do it! No, not that! No, I love that! Just pick something! Oh, that's really nice. It'll sell. I used to play it when I was a kid. To help me go to sleep. Oh. But I don't need it anymore. Duke? Yeah? And you sell them together. I won't want them to split up. They're kind of a family. That's his whole racing car collection. What I'll do, Maxie. Hey. Take these before I change my mind. Come in if your name's not Mike. A saint! I'm not in, am I? Oh, I'm very clever. Look. About my leaving. They just didn't give me any time to... Is this a face of someone who cares? I care if you're upset. You get paid to care, Mr. Care Worker. I don't. You really don't care about me, huh? Watch my lips. Oh. I'm really sorry. I do care. I didn't mean to hurt you. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right, OK. Forgiven. Just when you get used to things, everything changes. Well, you know, sometimes change can be good. Makes life interesting anyway. So you're leaving us because we're boring and you want to change? <laughs> you're definitely not boring. Look, if someone moves on, it doesn't mean they're going to forget you. Everyone forgets dumping brown kids. Oh, I won't. I promise. Come on, everybody, get your bargains here. Tom, Adam, yeah, so you go five pounds. Thank you very much for your custom. Don't all scrabble, there's enough for everybody. Now, thank you. Yeah, you can have that. I'm five pounds for that. I can't go down. You're going to two quid. Two for a good cause. Two pounds fifty. All right, two fifty. Two fifty done, three pounds. Well, that's it except for the guitar. 
I didn't see her when I left her, did you? Do the kids at the new place a favour and leave it behind. No way. I wasn't kidding when I said I loved it, you know. Let it go. You've got all the memories. I've also got the guitar. Let's be upstairs. Who bought the guitar? What guitar? Mike's old one. Who bought it? That went ages ago. Who cares? You didn't even bring anything special to the cell, Tracy Beeper. Yes, I did. You know what you said about moving on? What? Guess what? Guitars do it too. <laughs> Very funny. I just helped it on its way a bit. <laughs> what are you talking about? I gave it to the sale. Goodbye, old guitar. But I told you how much that guitar means to me. Change is a good thing. Have you ever considered the harmonica or the comb and paper? <sighs> I didn't realise that you were that angry with me for leaving. You got me back real good. Yeah, well, I'm the champ. Forgiven. Sure, it's no big deal. It's only good time. Hmm? Better make your mind up what you're gonna buy him. The shops will be shut in half an hour. But I know what he needs more than anything. She's not coming. She didn't even help. But I don't need to come. Don't listen to her. I'll do everybody's chores for a week. That's not much. Okay, I'll give you all my pocket money for a month. If you'll just listen to me for one minute. All your pocket money. We're listening. Now, who likes anchovies and who likes pepperoni? I was thinking about treating everyone to a pizza tonight. Nobody likes anchovies, Mike. Maxie likes pineapple, Justine likes pepperoni, and Ryan just likes more. Right. Well, if you're going to be top man at this new place, you better learn what the kids like. I'm really sorry I had to spring my leaving on you so fast. And I'm sorry I sent your guitar away. It's all right. Get over that. Me too. Wish me luck. Luck. To Mike. To Mike! <laughs> And now for our big surprise. What? This is for you, Mike. From the kids, staff, oh, and Ben. Oh, wow. These guys, thank you. I, I didn't expect it. Really, I, I mean... Oh, open it, for goodness sake. I'm getting old here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is great. That is the best. But, hang on. How could you laugh for this? Who needs a DVD player? Oh, this is just the greatest. Hey, why don't I give everyone a goodbye song, huh? No! no! Get me a bucket! Get me a doctor! Give me some earplugs! Hey, hey, hey. Ready? <laughs> Mike, I'll send the strings to your new place. <laughs> But on with my show. So, no one's got anything to say about this? I bet you yellow might have brightened it up. There's nothing funny about graffiti, Tracy. If I find that you. I've got to go! Tracy, I haven't finished! But I have! I'm going now to camp today! And you can't stop me getting out of this dump. I'll easily escape you. Quick, Cam, drive! I haven't said hello to Jenny yet. Cam's phone. No, she's not here. Martha Leach from Ellison Leach. Yeah, I'll tell her. Are you the estate agent? Of course she wants to see the flats. All of them. I can just imagine the kind of place we're going to pick. It's a surprise, isn't it? 
me. What? You're moving, so you have more space for me. No, I'm moving because the people around my flat are coming back. I wonder who did it. It wasn't me! It might not have been any of us. You're lucky you're leaving. At least you won't get accused every time something bad happens. Yeah. And you get nervous about living on your own. Can't wait. You shouldn't have gone through my bag. Your phone was ringing. Look, come on, we're meeting this day agent in ten minutes. Oh, come Tracy, on. I told her I couldn't look at anything today. You've got to let me come. No, it wouldn't be fair. Look, this really isn't about you moving in with me. OK, don't go on. But I still want to come and look at them with you. Please, Cam. Pretty, please. <laughs> you can be as cute as you like, girl. It's not going to happen. And I do the talking, OK? I don't want you getting lippy with the estate agent. Me? Lippy? I shall be on my very best behaviour. You'll be able to introduce me as your perfect foster daughter, a lovely, quiet girl who never shows you up in public. Choosing flats than you are at turning up on time. Tracy. <sighs> Shall we go in? Right. I wish I could draw like that. But the front door's not the right place for it. Why do people do graffiti? Maybe they want to make their mark. Like when dogs were in a lamppost. Something like that, but with pictures. Everything. I'll um, leave you to look round on your own. She's only being smiley because she wants you to take the flat. I've seen her laying the pain pool about one hundreds of times. Tracy, I quite like this place. We don't want to live somewhere like this. We? Jenny, before I leave, can I wear in a lamppost? <laughs> what do you want to wear in a lamppost for, Maxie? To make a mark so you don't forget me. So, what do we think? We think I like it. Would you still like it if it had damp? Well, no. I, I can assure you, Cam, there's no... damp. How did you know that was there? The wallpaper's bubbly. Sorry, Martha, it's a no. Look, it's, it's nothing a roll of wallpaper won't... Right. Shall we move on to the next property? Adele's leaving soon. And something that Maxie said made me realise that when she's gone, we won't have anything to remember her by. So we want you to come up with some ideas for how we can remember you once you've left. Like movie stars putting their hands in concrete. That's the idea. Mm. Uh, Adele, me and Jenny thought you should be project leader. <sighs> cool. And then we draw around each other to get the shape, everyone adds in their own detail, and we end up with a mural that's a really good record of who's been in. And you can add to it as more kids come and go. A commemorative mural. How posh are we? Sorry, it's no good. Next. Tracy, I like this flat. <sighs> My bedroom's miles too small. We need something bigger. That's not your bedroom. It's going to be my study. Cam's going to foster me any day now, so we need a place with big second bedrooms with a sweet shop next door. Do you have anything like that? Oh. We're not looking for places with big second bedrooms because, A, I still haven't decided whether I'm fostering you, and, B, I can't afford it. Yes, you can. You'll get money for looking after me. That'll make up the difference. Um, I'll be in here. Look, I can't take on the extra expense of a larger flat because of something that might happen in the future. Well, decide about it now, then. You've had ages to think it through. I still need more time. How much more? Months? Years? How do you think I feel? You're stringing me along all the time. Oh, it's not like that, Tracy. I'll just get Martha to foster me then. It's obvious she hates kids, but at least I'd have a home. Cos I'm not gonna get one with you, am I? I wanna go back to the dumping ground. Oh, Tracy, wait. Oh, have you got any small change? Um... Jenny, I... You know, it's funny. If someone hadn't done graffiti on our door, you'd never have come up with the idea for a commemorative mural. Keep still, Maxie! It's tickled! You're mean, you're cruel, you're nasty! 
Ryan, finish Maxie, would you? Tracy, wait. I've waited long enough. And if I never set my eyes on you ever again, that'll be ten years too soon. What's happened? Oh, we had a huge bust up about me fostering her. Let's go inside. I can't. I need some time to think. Forever. People will stop noticing me, and then one day I'll disappear altogether. I know there's a family out there for you, Tracy. You're starting to sound like a lonely pain. Sorry? You'll have to eat a lot more spinach before you can shove me. Do you want to borrow me sticky tape? Sorry, are you busy? Yes. Uh, no, uh, is, is, is everything all right? No, not really. Uh, come to decision about Tracy. Uh, but come in. I really thought you were going to be the one to rescue me. I don't know what will happen to me. I really thought this time you would come and save me. Hi. Hi. Heard you and Tracy had a row. Yeah, I've come to make it up to her. If she'll let me. Well, I'll leave you to it. Tracy, can I have a word? Have two. Bog off. I need your help. I'm really sorry about this morning. I didn't mean to upset you. Would you come and have a look at another flat with me? Forget it. But you're so much better at it than me. If I go on my own, I end up living in some damp, smelly hovel. Please, Tracy. Pretty please. You're just not going to give up, are you? And this is the last room. So what do you think? Don't you like it? It's got nothing to do with me. It's got everything to do with you, Tracy. It's your new bedroom. For weekends. For always. If you want it to be. Oh, Cat! I love it! I absolutely love it! It's the best bedroom anyone can have in their whole life ever! You two seem happy. We are. My foster mother and I have decided we'll take the flat. Oi, Trace, come and finish your bit. Sorry, Dad, I've just got so much packing to do. Cam's finally going to foster me. It's true. <laughs> come here. <laughs> oh. I can't believe I'm finally getting out of the dumping ground. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's going to be better than even I can dream it. See you, Grace. <laughs> bye bye, Gordon. Have a great time. Come on. <laughs> when they say, and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> but do they? <laughs> Galactic race with the Doctor to stop the scourge of the universe, Balthazar, getting his hands on this lethal weapon. If Balthazar gets that data chip and finds the infinite... desire, the destruction of you, me, and Earth. I'm the king of the world. It won't be easy stopping him. They're gonna burn us out of space and time. Father, Father, look out! Join me for the whole adventure from start to finish. Doctor Who and the Infinite Quest, Saturday at 10.30 on CBBC2. to head over live to the Newsround studio now for all the very latest, here's Gavin. Hello, I'm Gavin and this is Newsround on Thursday. First, the new Prime Minister of Britain, Gordon Brown, begins his first day in the job. Later, he's going to announce what's, who's going to do what in his new government and then hold a big meeting afterwards. Mr Brown took over after Tony Blair stepped down after 10 years in charge. Next up, weather forecasters are predicting more heavy rain for parts of the country, a blow for the hundreds of people who have already been badly affected by the heavy floods. Loads of families in South Yorkshire spent their third night away from home while cleanup has been taking place. Next, it's the summer of movie blockbusters. And where there's a smash hit film, there's usually a video game too. Shrek, Spider-Man and Transformers are all hoping to make an appearance on your computer screen. So, how do the creators go about turning a movie into a game? Press back at Ellie's being behind the scenes of the new Harry Potter game to find out. Hi, I'm Ellie. I love computer games and I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. So I've come to the place where they're making the Order of the Phoenix video game. Everything here is top secret, so I might need to use some of my magic to get a sneaky peek. This is a studio where the designers are putting the finishing touches to the game. Maybe someone here can give me some inside secrets. How do you make the game look so much like the film? We visit the film sets um, and we take lots and lots of photographs and then they give us the plans of how they made the set and we come back and we build them in 3D for the game. We essentially built the castle um, and figured out where all the classes were so we used the book and the films to, to find out where, where everything connected together. Lots of the real actors' voices are used in the game too. Hello Harry, I heard you found someone for the D8 to me. Does everyone know about our secret meeting place? In this game, you can find and recruit members of Dumbledore's army, ready to fight Voldemort. It's a bit tricky to start with, but I quickly got the hang of casting spells. It's really cool. I hope I found out some useful stuff for all you gamers. I better go now before my magic wears off. This is Ellie reporting for Newsround from Electronic Arts Studio. <laughs> Nice disappearing out there, Ellie. Well, she's also been looking at some other video games coming out this summer. And you can read her reviews of Shrek the Third, the video game, and the Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, on the website. And you can also get in touch and let us know what you think of any new video games you've played. In tennis, it was a soaking end to the day at Wimbledon yesterday. You could barely see the crowd over a sea of brollies. The rain delayed some of the action. Tim Henman's tie with Feliciano Lopez was one of the games forced to stop because of the rain. It's a much brighter start to the day in London, so the match should continue today. 
To some showbiz news now, and star Paris Hilton reckons her time behind bars has changed her for the better. She wasted no time in getting back into the celeb hot seat after being released from prison earlier this week. She spent around three weeks in the slammer after breaking a driving ban. It gave me, you know, a time out in life just to really find out what is important and what I want to do, figuring out who I am. And um, even though it was really hard, I took that time just to get to know myself. And finally, quite a few years ago, Victoria Beckham, footy star David Beckham's wife, was known as Posh Spice. That's because she was a member of one of the biggest girl bands in the world. It was called The Spice Girls, and today they're going to make a comeback by announcing a world tour. There were five band members, and they had loads of number one singles. That's it from me for now. News rounds back at 4.25. If you can't wait until then, always keep up to date with the latest stories on our website. Until then, see you later. The Romans are here. Since this is the Pirate's Coast, do you ever see any pirates around here? Pirates? Yes. All the time. <laughs> One nice surprise. Seize them! <laughs> There's a group of us hiding in the hills. They're going to escape. Have you seen Nubia? Let's just say girl, Fulvia. Four friends unraveling the secrets of an empire. Roman Mysteries, Tuesday at 4.30 on CBBC2.